Let's say that your programming staff ready to publish your con event schedule. You looked at the draft and probably wondered to yourself, why are there so many dancer events and how are they all different from each other? Those are totally fair questions, there's a lot of terminology involved, and they're not the most consistent or concise. So let's run through all the possible dancer events that your con could host. There are four main categories of dancer events, showcases, battles, ciphers, and workshops. Showcases and battles are typically competitive events, while ciphers and workshops are typically community events. But it's totally possible to have a showcase that's community focused and a cipher that's competitive focused. And of course, I'm not talking about dances or raves in this video. Those are completely different from dancer events, just to be perfectly confusing. You've probably already heard of the fursuit dance competition. This is a showcase event. It is by far the most famous dancer event that cons have to offer. This event is where a dancer picks their own song mix and makes a dance routine using that mix. Dancers have a choice to either make choreo, do freestyle, or have a mix of both in their routine. Most people will call this a dance comp, which is a pretty good descriptive name for it. Typically, dance comps have multiple parts to it since it's such a huge event. Dance comp auditions are where dancers audition for a spot in the main event. Not all dance comps have auditions, but when they do, they're usually held in person and are closed off to spectators. Though, since lockdown, video auditions have become more common. Dance comp rehearsals are where dancers that are accepted to the main event are able to rehearse their routine at the con without spectators. Not many cons have rehearsals, but I would love to see it happen more because rehearsals help dancers, organizers, and AV staff all be on the same page and produce a better show. Dance comp finals are the main primetime event. This is the part where the spectators can watch either in person or on stream. You've definitely seen this on YouTube. As the name implies, fursuit dance competitions are competitive events where judges will score each dancer's routine. But it's entirely possible to have this be a community-focused event and call it a fursuit dance showcase. No need for judges to determine a winner, the dancers that participate are doing so out of love for the craft and nothing more. Battle events are competitive events where two or more dancers go head-to-head -head in a freestyle dance battle and judges pick who the winner is. Battle events are usually single elimination tournaments, but there's many, many, many different formats that could be used for this type of event. You've probably seen videos of this event since it's also pretty popular. Most people call this Floor Wars, but that's not really correct. Quick history lesson, Floor Wars is a name brand that only refers to battle events hosted by LFO, the first dancer for a crew. As of March 2024, there's only two cons that have Floor Wars, AC and MFF. The battle events at other cons go by other names. It's disrespectful to both these event organizers as well as LFO calling all these Floor Wars. So let's put the name brands aside and use a more generic name from now on, Furry Dance Battles. It's descriptive and can be shortened to just Dance Battle, just like how Fursuit Dance Competition can be shortened to just Dance Comp. And just like with Dance Comp, Dance Battles can have multiple parts to it. Dance Battle Prelims are where dancers try out for a spot at the main event. Prelims are usually held in person at the con since it's pretty hard to have Dance Battles remotely. There are many different formats for prelims, though I am biased in favor of the method that I developed. Also, prelims can be open to spectators since there's no way to spoil freestyle dance battles. Dance battle warm-ups happen right before finals and allow finalists time to warm up for the event. This isn't typically listed as an official event, but it's 100% an important part of dance battles. You want to make sure that your dancers have enough time to warm up, stretch, and get into the right headspace for freestyle battles. So please make sure there's room in the schedule for this to happen. Dance battle finals are the main event. This is the high stakes part where dancers are competing to try to win that top spot. Dance battle finals and dance comp finals should never be on the same day of the con since there will always be overlap of competitors between these two events. Dance battle events are pretty much exclusively competitive events. There is a non-competitive analog called the dance exchange, but dance exchanges don't really happen at cons as official events, not yet at least. Dance ciphers are smaller events that you've probably seen but didn't know the name of. A dance cipher is where dancers will form a circle and take turns dancing in the middle of the circle. As with anything that's dance related, there's a lot of culture about dance ciphers and I linked an article that talks about cipher etiquette down in the description. Dance ciphers are primarily a community focused event, usually happening as a meet and greet, but it is possible having a competitive focused dance cipher. And personally, I think dance ciphers are highly slept on. They're the perfect freestyle dance event for smaller cons. They don't take as much planning or equipment like with dance battles. Dance workshops are pretty much exclusively community events. These are where dancers can learn new techniques, new styles, and share knowledge with one another. I feel like these are also highly slept on at cons. Workshops are where we can cultivate and grow talent within our community. They're really important. And I guess in theory you can make a competitively focused workshop, like a who can learn this choreo the fastest type of event. 
But yeah, let's just keep dance workshops as a community-focused event. That's pretty much it. Those are the main types of dancer events that you'll see at cons. I hope this video really helps clear up a lot of confusion between these events. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.